Welcome to Kentucky for the running of the Microsoft 400 for race number 19 of the Aquafina and our World Cup Series, season number three. I do apologize that I'm having to do this in 800 by 600 as the resolution for Enter 2003. It's the only way we wouldn't get, well, what happened yesterday, basically. The drop of frames and everything. I have gone and tested everything. It does run a lot better. I have, yeah, more frames than I did before. Then I had more frames than I did yesterday. That I was down to like 20. I have 144 right now, so that's good. Um, but Landon Lyons is on the pole with Greg Torres to the outside, followed by J.J. Reed and Zachary Fitzwater Sr. Jay Jefferson rounding out the top five. Wyatt Walker, Michael Canto, Andrew Johnson, Sebastian Kukovan, and Roger Ray round out the top ten. Luke Rainey, Ryan Butcher, Diego Yepes, Trey Wright, Max Anderson, and James Stubblito. Mathis Wells, who is yesterday's winner, he's trying to go back to back here in Kentucky with Co Luigi, Marcus Sachi, and Matt Hamill, Nathan Stapleton, Derek Northrup, Patrick Smith, and Eli Bright, Daniel Bouchard, and Andrew Miller, Dexter Black, and last race's winner, Jonathan Hoff, who's now locked into the playoffs, Colton Yo and Zach Winkle. Dash Bourne and Al Legacy, Jerry Northrup and Derek Hamill, Nicholas Wade, Phoebe Iwata, Gatlin Downey, Stuart Grattan, and in the last row, Alexander Rowe and Tristan Allen. Let's go Trekside for the command. Great command. Get the engines fired here in Kentucky. Alright, so we are losing some frames, but nothing bad. Okay, right there, it'll get bad, but we'll also have to stay on top of that then. Anyways, the pace car is off. And down the front stretch they come. Into the Geico restart zone. Great flag is in the air. We're underway here in Kentucky. I just realized I haven't configured my sound yet for a race. But, oh well. That's alright. Landon Lyons is going to clear for the lead. And here comes J.J. Reed down low. He's going to complete the pass here on the inside. Here comes J. Jefferson with J.J. Reed will lead lap one. Jefferson with Canto down on the inside. Why Walker's going to split him in the middle. Three wide. So I have the ratings of 100 and I have the AI strength of 110%. So we'll have to see how this race plays out. Usually, which if you put it at 110%, and 10%. AI strength, that's pretty good. Jay Jefferson is in the wall. The 17 into the wall. So now this is going to stack up back there. As they're pulling away here. Look at this pack now, back here. They're three wide. And then it just gets up to single file right here. Now we have 50 laps to go. Michael Canto going for second here on Landon Lions. Canto might be able to get it here in the corner. They're going to be side by side off turn four. At the line, I think Landon Lyons will have it. By a nose. Canto's got the momentum off turn two. Side by side down the back stretch. 
Lions edges ahead. Canto's going to clear off turn four. And here comes Sebastian Kukulon down low. Jay Jefferson is now able to get back to the inside line. Great racing back here. They're three wide. Almost four wide for a brief moment there. JJ Reed in the 14 still out in front. Yeah, when Daddy Patrick Smith is in the wall, the 41. He's going to lose the entire pack right here. That's a lot of right side damage. So, same with Jefferson. I think Smith has a little bit more damage than Jefferson does. Landon Lions back to the inside, going for second. Canto's going to get around him, and here comes Wyatt Walker in the 51. Greg Torres into the wall. The 19. Oh, four wide here through the corner. Now back down to three. That could have been big. Here goes Canto for the race lead. The 66. Side by side, down the back stretch for the lead. Here comes Landon Lyons, three wide down low. And off turn four, Canto is going to go to the lead. He clears J.J. Reed. Here comes the 14, fighting back on the outside though. Andrew Johnson into the top five. Oh, Phoebe Iwata must have gotten in the wall as well. J.J. Reed back to the lead now. Canto's going to try crossover. Here he comes, to the inside. Down the back stretch. Off turn four, Michael Canto's going to... No, he's not going to clear J.J. Reed. Now he will. Now J.J. Reed's going to try a crossover. Once again, side by side, down the back straightaway. And it turns three and four. J.J. Reed has the advantage down low. Here comes Landon Lyons. Don't count out the seven quite yet. What Landon Lyons needs right now is he needs another win. If he, if he has any chance at making the playoffs, that's his only chance is to get a win. Or he has to finish in the top 30 at Indianapolis. I was going to say at Richmond, but no, because of the schedule change for this season and next season, there will actually be a few, uh, there's actually a few extra changes to the schedule for next season. It's the same as the 2018 schedule, but um, I just changed a few tracks, that's all. I didn't, so it's the same, it's the 2018 schedule, but instead of some races being at the same track as they would be in the 2018 schedule as Andrew Johnson almost gets in the wall, almost gets turned by his development driver, Ryan Butcher.
Or I guess no. Um, yeah, maybe. I don't know. Maybe right. No, I think Andrew Johnson is Ryan Butch and Ryan Butcher's development driver. Butcher is gonna go to the inside of him though. Three wide right here. Fitzwater right in front of them. Seems like we've seen this a lot this season. J.J. Reed and Landon Lyons running 1-2 or running with each other. And Roger Ray is right there in the top five, currently running in fifth. There's Trey Wright, the Pocono winner. Not next race, but race after that, we're going to Pocono. And the Granger Series will be at Iowa once again. <sighs> yeah, Phoebe Iwata has been in the wall at one point in this race. We're closing in on the halfway point. I believe the lights just came on. Not yet. They will be coming on soon, though, probably. Here comes the seven, Landon Lions. Right along. These two here still battling side by side. Marcus Saatchi up top with Nathan Stapleton. Tristan Allen and Gatlin Downey down low. Here's Code Luigi in the 42, who hasn't had a very good season. He's currently running 20th. Yes, he is. Okay. I'm just waiting for the lights to come on. Another fly by the field. Or most of the field. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't going to wait for these two. Just because of how far behind they are. Currently 12 seconds behind the leader. Currently, Fitzwater has the fastest lap with a 26.703. Huh. I do apologize about that, sorry. What would be the halfway point? Let's see here. I think lap 28. No, lap, yeah, lap 28, so that's when the stage will end, is lap, start of lap 28, will be the end of the stage, of course we don't have the cautions anymore, after each, or after the stage. Down the back stretch. Will Landon La Lyons be able to get the stage win from JJ Reed? Doesn't look like it's going to happen. Off turn number four. JJ Reed will win stage number one. Followed by Landon Lyons, Michael Canto, Sebastian Kukulon, Roger Ray, Wyatt Walker, Trey Wright, Zachary Fitzwater. Ryan Butcher and Andrew Johnson. Whites have come on. So 
So these drivers I know will have to pit because we had pit stops yesterday in the Granger Series race. Um, and those didn't go very well. So. That, that, that wasn't very, they weren't very good pit stops. That version of Kentucky, the one I used yesterday, was not good. That, so we're going to be sticking here with 2013 and cars moving up the track because some are coming to pit road. Here comes Landon Lyons in for his stop along with a bunch of other drivers. J.J. Reed, Michael Canto, Roger Ray, Trey Wright, and Fitzwater all stayed out. Looks like Reed is going to stay out once again. Nope, here he comes. To, he's pitting this time. Trey Wright's going to stay out, though. No, he's not. Oh, he misses Pirot, and there's contact. Big wreck. Eli Bright, upside down almost. Not sure why they didn't throw the caution. But this is going to take some big names out of the race here. Yepes is going to be out. Sachi's out. Oh my goodness, you guys. Get it together. <laughs> Landon Lyons is now the race leader. Or will be once they get around. Well, they have to get around Gatlin Downey here. The double zero. And they have. Did any of the leaders get damage from this? Yeah. Code Luigi's gone to the garage. Same with Yepes and Sachi. Nicholas Wade, Zach Winkle, and Nathan Stapleton have all gone to the garage. Jay Jefferson might go two laps down here. At least we know they shouldn't have to pit again. See Mathis Wells and Luke Rainey with damage. So Mathis Wells, I don't believe, will be going back to back wins here. He's in 27th currently. Yep, so the 7 has gone to the lead. They're going to get around Jay Jefferson and put him two laps down. No, put him one lap down now. Next car that could go a lap down would be Andrew Miller. In the 37, who has damage. I was honestly considering throwing the caution. Because of that accident. That, there's, that was just no. Dumb. And, look who's running in second. Sebastian Kukawan. Remember... Kukulon was leading coming to the white flag on Saturday at Daytona, so a week ago at Daytona, coming to the white flag, or coming to the checkered flag, actually, and he ran out of fuel and came to pit road, and we have a caution on track. What for? What did the caution come out for? But as I was saying, Sebastian Kukulon came to pit road on the last lap and gave the win to Jonathan Hoff. Because of where Kukulon's pit stall was, that's what gave the win away. So what brought out the caution? Of 
We're going to find out. What? I'm gonna look at all the speeds here. There's someone going ridiculously slow. What? So, the caution came out for no reason. What? That is the weirdest thing I've probably ever seen in an NR2003 race. Nobody spun out. Unless someone went to the garage. No, nope, same drivers in the garage. That's weird. And anyways, I guess, well, we're under caution here. I swear, I did not throw the caution. We're under caution here. Um, since we're under caution, I might as well configure my sound. Yeah, that's what I don't like. It goes through the cameras like that. Oh, I will configure my sound here. And I'll just accelerate through the caution. Alright, going green this time. Sebastian Kukulon is the race leader. Landon Wise is in second. Third is Matt Hamill. Fourth is Roger Ray. Fifth is Colton Yo. Sixth is Ryan Butcher, 7th, Stuart Gratton, 8th is J.J. Reed, ninth is Derek Northrup, and 10th is Al Legacy. And then we have drivers that are one lap down. Jay Jefferson is the first car one lap down, so he might actually be able to get back on the lead lap here. And then what he needs is another caution. And Andrew Miller, Phoebe Awada, Trey Wright, Patrick Smith, Jonathan Hoff, and Eli Right, not sure what the cars are doing. Yeah, graphics are all good. Okay. Anyways, pace car is off. Well, we're losing some frames here. I, I'd prefer if that didn't have to happen. And the Geico restart zone. Green flag is back in the air. Good restart here for the 13. Jefferson fighting back on the inside, trying to get back on the lead lap. Here comes Phoebe Iwata. Down the back stretch. Jay Jefferson clears Kukuan to get back on the lead lap. Trey Wright and Phoebe Iwata might get on the lead lap here as well. Matt Hamill in the middle going for the race lead. That was close right there at the line. Kukuan still had it though. Matt Hamill to the lead now. Here comes Landon Lyons. Patrick Smith almost up in the wall. Matt Hamill pulling away. 
Here comes Stuart Gratton for second. Right now, I think Patrick Smith's car is too tight. That's why he's running up the track a lot. We'll have 11 laps to go when we get to the line here. Matt Hamill's pulling away. Here comes Al Legacy in the 92. Can Stuart Gratton run down the 72 to try and get the lead? 11 laps to go. Right now, Jefferson and Trey Wright are on the tail end of the lead lap. Phoebe Iwata is the first car one lap down. We'll have to see what the gap is here on this lap. I think Gratton has closed in. We'll see. No. Now we have 10 laps to go. And Matt Hamill is pulling away apparently. Looked like Gratton was gaining though. You're on board with the 96. He's gaining right here though. But apparently Matt Hamill's still pulling away. Nine laps to go. It looks like Stuart Gratton is closing the gap. But apparently he's not. Eight laps to go. Gratton did close. But not by much. That was only one one hundredth of a second that he gained. If he can gain a lot on this lap, he's going to have a shot to win. Yeah, here he comes. He's definitely closed the gap on this lap. No, apparently he went back up. Seven laps to go. Now six and a half. The two lap cars in front of Matt Hamill weren't battling. I bet you Matt Hamill would definitely be pulling away by a lot. Yeah. Gap didn't close there. Six to go. Down the back they go. I don't know why I said it like that. That was weird. <laughs> I never say that. Five laps to go for Matt Hamill. He's going to have a, at least a one second lead by the end of this race if he doesn't screw anything up and allow Stuart Gratton to catch him. Here, yeah, there I could tell Hamill was definitely pulling away. Might be about a second right here. But he's extended his lead by about two tenths. We're going to have three and a half laps to go now here in Kentucky. Can Matt Hamill hang on to the lead? Three laps to go. Hamill still pulling away from Grattan. We'll see here where Matt Hamill goes to go around Jay Jefferson. He's going to go to the inside. This could potentially slow Matt Hamill down. We'll have to see right here. It did! Stuart Gratton closed in by a tenth of a second. With two laps to go. Here comes the 96! 
Matt Hamill's clear. Jefferson to the inside with a crossover. This is going to put him on the outside. Al Legacy makes a move to the inside for second. Here they come. White flag in the air. One lap to go. Presented by Credit One Bank. Here comes Stuart Gratton. He's closed the gap now. He's going to be right there. Here comes the 96. Down the back stretch for the final time. Hamill moves to the inside. Can Gratton get there? Off turn four. Matt Hamill. Stuart Gratton. Hamill's going to outlast Gratton. He's going to win here in Kentucky. Oh my goodness. What a finish. Gratton made up eight tenths of a second in two laps. Oh, Derek Hamill's gonna kill the field, okay. There's Eli Bright with roof damage. <laughs> Wow. So Matt Hamill in the 72 goes to victory lane here in Kentucky. Stuart Gratton finishes second, Al Legacy third, Sebastian Kukul on fourth this time instead of fifth, and Derek Northrup finishes in fifth. Gatlin Downey, Ryan Butcher, Daniel Bouchard, Colton, yo, where did he come from? He finished ninth, and J.J. Reed, the outside pole sitter, finishes in tenth. Or sorry, the third place starter, or fourth, I don't remember. One of them. The other Hamill, Derek, finishes in 23rd. And you see the rest of the finishing results. Six cars in the garage. Code Luigi, Marcus Sachi, Zach Winkle, Nathan Stapleton, Diego Yepes, and Nicholas Wade. Now, we're going to take you down to Victory Lane, and we'll check out the points. Matt Hamill ekes out a win here at Kentucky, and he definitely did. Alright, time to look at points. Sorry if you hear the TV in the background. It's just because I have it on because uh, practice was going on for Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series. Alright, there's no Kentucky in here. Or at least in my version for some reason. So let's select Kansas. Alright. Microsoft... 400. We'll look at the results. Generate files. Okay, standings. Nicholas Wade somehow hanging on to that points lead. Andrew Johnson still in second. And it's 14 points that separate. Nicholas Wade and Andrew Johnson. Actually, we have quite a few drivers that have now cracked into the 2000s in points. It's Gatlin Downey still in third. Sebastian Kukulon still in fourth. Matt Hamill only comes up to fifth. Stuart Gratton up to sixth. Roger Ray up to seventh. Colton Yo up to eighth. James Stabilito falls to ninth. Jay Jefferson falls to tenth. White Walker up to 11th. Al Legacy up to 12th. Wow. Al Legacy, I believe, just put himself in the playoffs. Yep, barely he'd be the last driver in. No. J.J. Reed would be the... No. 
Patrick Smith would be the last driver in. Yeah, so right now how the playoffs would be, Nicholas Wade, Andrew Johnson, Gatwin Downey, Sebastian Kukulon, Matt Hamill, Stuart Gratton, Roger Ray, Colton Yo, James Stabilito, Jay Jefferson, Y. Walker, Al Legacy, J.J. Reed, Patrick Smith, Zachary Fitzwater Sr., and then Tristan Allen. No, sorry, Patrick Smith wouldn't be in. Um, it would be J.J. Reed, Zachary Fitzwater Sr., Tristan Allen, and then Jonathan Hoff. As we now have five? No. Four? No, wait. What am I saying here? One, two, three, four. Yeah, five drivers locked in the playoffs. Well, and that's very interesting. So we thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.